March out here in Minnesota and for some reason look at this check this out We got Woody's Bowl out back at the third layer skate park and we're filming the Art of Ramp backside 5-0s today So without any further ado, let's get started Backside 5-0s it's a grind on the back truck To go in for that's that's the definition of it a um, couple things you're going to want to know to get started This is one thing that I did when I first started doing 5-0s or wanting to learn them was this I, Peter Hewitt actually does this a lot and it's it, it's like a tail slide to drop in right he does them down banks and on flats and it's like really fun and silly but it actually is a great way to balance your 5-0 and start practicing that so get those mastered again all I'm doing is keeping all my weight on the board sliding the tail actually on the tail of the board and I'm not letting my heel touch the ground at all so that is from the very ground level how to start building confidence for a backside 5-0, all right? So what we're gonna do is, what I recommend at first is that you learn backside pivots, just like that, all right? Roll that clip, right? Okay, so backside pivots are learned. I've been practicing balancing um, on the tail slide, just on flat. Now I'm gonna start taking it to the ramp. Um, you're going to want to learn backside slash grinds, of course, for this. Your backside kick turn should be mastered. Knee slides, backside 50-50 grinds, all that good stuff prior that we've been working on already in the Art Ram series here. You want to have all that stuff mastered, and this is the next step, all right? The next phase in riding transition, backside 5 O's. Okay, so as I approach, um, I'm going to come at about 25 degree angle, all right? So that's going to be something similar to that. I'm gonna keep my knees bent. I'm gonna load the weight up as I pump up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, once I get up to the coping, I'm gonna start leaning back in, pointing where I wanna go. And I'm actually gonna try to press my tail onto the coping, just like we were practicing right down there at the beginning of this video. And pretty much stand up on that, just like that, all right? I'm also gonna be leaning in at an angle, all right? so. My body is probably going to be at a pitch like that, right? It's not going to be up on the deck. I'm going to be leaning in like that. And if I'm not having coming in with a lot of speed, I'm going a little bit slower. My legs might be up like that, but my waist is certainly bent in. Now, a couple other things about this, the lock-in position. Again, a couple videos ago, I showed you that groove in that truck. You're going to want to have that, all right? If you don't have it, keep grinding and you will get it, all right? So you are locking in on the heel side wheel on the 5-0, all right? So you don't want to lock in like on the toe side because usually when you come out, it slips into a hang up and you go down devastatingly hard. You don't want that, all right? Again, in the Art of Ram, we want to land tricks within three tries. If we don't, then we have to back up and start over, all right? What, what are we missing? I always want you guys to be challenging yourself. What am I missing in my foundation of skating it's not allowing me to land this in three tries, all right? Maybe five, all right? But three for sure. Let's get it going, all right? So we talked about coming in at the angle. We talked about the weight loaded up. We're up on the grind where our knees are bent. All that get great stuff. You know, I'm, I'm breathing out. None of this stuff should be new to you guys if you've been following this series, all right? All we're doing now is when we're in this grind to actually get it to stay up here is we're just keeping our front knee up like a tail stall before we're dropping in, all right? So Raise your knee up, get the grind in, all right? So at first, challenge yourself to do a two foot grind, half of a sheet at your local skate park. If it's concrete, do your best to measure out two feet, maybe two pool blocks, all right? Next, four feet, six, eight, et cetera, et cetera. All right, a um, couple other things to talk about on that is where do I put my weight while I'm doing this grind? So as I'm up in the 5-0, my arms are out, and I'm coming up with sort of a, a pre-wind up into the grind. So on flat ground, I'll be bending my knees, I'll be winding up, I'll get up into the grind, and my shoulder will naturally just keep following that backside rotation I've already started. Now I'm pushing on my toe, I'm locking in. Let me back up. Actually, I don't think I am pushing on my toe, all right? When I'm on this grind, now that I think about it, I'm, I'm pressing on my heel or more so keeping the board flat and as I want to go in, that's when I start bending my knee over my toe 
and shifting the weight toe side, back side, back into the ramp. All right, I'm glad we actually got to talk that and work that out because this is a trick I really don't teach that much in lessons and stuff. So again, a lot of this stuff is new to me. Backing up even a little bit more, back to like where our weight is placed. I want to keep my helmet over my knee pad, over my front foot. All right, so while I'm up, again, all we're talk we've been talking about is keeping that knee up in the air like that. Keep that head over. Your gaze, it's gonna be right down past your knee pad looking for that landing, all right? When you start running out of speed, you're gonna wanna anticipate that I'm coming to the end of my grind. That's when you wanna shift that weight to that back toe, pivot in, all right? So on the right away, you just bend your knees like a normal drop in, absorb that landing, load the weight up, get ready for the next wall that's coming up in about 10 feet and pump up the next one. Keep having fun. Other than that, as for a bailout pattern on a 5-0, it's a little bit different. It's hard to step off the back foot and place the back foot into the ramp when all your pressure is on your back foot. So let me demonstrate a little bailout pattern for you guys. I'm actually going to, I've been, I've been talking about doing it on this five foot wall here, but we're going to do it on the six foot. What I'm actually going to do is actually more or less take my front foot off, step with my front foot, drop my knee, my knee pad. I don't even know if this is a good idea. The snow just melted. There's a bunch of seams everywhere, but for you guys, I'm willing to take the risk. If you guys like this channel make sure you subscribe and tell a friend about it um, and I don't have any questions for you guys today for your comments uh, how about this one what other tricks would you like to see that are backside in intermediate ramp riding and we'll get to that all right so leave a comment below again tell a friend and share skateboarding with everybody I know some places around the world sharing skateboarding just isn't that cool it's more of a secret code um, I just had a comment about that in the front side air video and out here, I don't know why we're why we're keeping these secrets to ourselves. We all know the world's slowly ending, so let's all start skateboarding. Love life. Enjoy our time here and ram it down. All right, guys. So till next time, check it out. Hey guys, I gotta give a big shout out to Puzzy James Hazlitt for filming this this episode of the Art of Ram. Without the, uh, my friends out here, there's no way none of this would be possible. So thank you, James. Love you, buddy.